Let me get a Grammy, man. All my plaques say Kendrick Lamar on them. I'm tired of being the underground emperor. I want to go mainstream and make money. The industry? Yeah. Would say they probably didn't hit with Abso. Started rapping like it's not about the money, it's about the art. I want it to be the illest. Mm -hmm. I came in, I wanted somebody to say that I was the best rapper to, to, that ever lived. Same. A million niggas and told me that. Why don't I have a Grammy? Why don't I have everything else that comes with that? TDE failed with Absol. Now we all know TDE is a record label founded in 2004 by Anthony Top Dog Tiffith. The label has gained significant recognition over the past decade in the hip-hop industry for its impressive roster of artists that were all homegrown by the label. Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, SZA, Isaiah Rashad, J-Rock, and of course Ab Soul were all relatively unknown upon joining TDE. And through the masterminding of Dave Free, Punch, and Top Dog, they were able to build up their talents and catapult them into mainstream success. Well, at least for everyone except for Ab Soul, who many recognize as the most lyrical member of the group. Kendrick Lamar himself once claimed that Ab Soul is the rawest rapper on the planet. And on a track with Kendrick, Ab Soul claimed he was the only rapper who could be considered better than Kendrick. And Kendrick was just cool with it. So how does an artists like this get overlooked by the entire industry. You see, Absol had everything it took to make it to the mainstream. He had the appearance, he had an insane backstory of his come up, he had a dope vocal tone, and of course, he was an amazing wordsmith. But Absol's biggest pro would also become his biggest con. Let me explain. My last album was a lot, even for me. I was just like, I felt like I was just getting lost in, in theory versus, you know, actually trying to create great art. One of the main reasons TDE seemingly failed with Ab Soul could simply be because his music is just too deep. Soul is known for his unique style of rap music that often delves deep into theory and provokes thought. While his lyrical content is widely appreciated by a niche audience, it is often considered to be too deep and difficult for the average listener to understand. This factor may have contributed to Ab Soul's lack of success in comparison to other TDE artists, who focus more on accessible and mainstream themes in their music. While other TDE artists such as Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, or SZA focus on more accessible and relatable themes, Absol's music delves deep into complex theories and philosophical ideas that could be difficult for the average listener to grasp. This approach limited Absol's appeal and mainstream reach, since no one is trying to hear about Aleister Crowley's devaluation of faith and promotion of skepticism in the club. Whereas someone like Kendrick Lamar can make a song about the dangerous effects of alcoholism and turn it into a banger. However, it's important to note that there was a few glimpses of Ab's mainstream potential. Songs like Closure, Nevermind That, and Twacked are all songs I could definitely hear being played on the radio, but they didn't pop off for one specific reason, TDE's focus on other artists. While Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, and SZA have all achieved tremendous success under TDE, the label's dedication to promoting these artists has come at the expense of others on the roster, including Ab Soul. When building up towards the release of his 2012 project These Days, he tweeted about leaking his album like a mixtape due to the lack of support by the label. He also expressed his frustration with media outlets for constantly emphasizing Kendrick Lamar's name over the group's name. Black Hippie. This showed the challenges Absol faced in trying to establish himself as a successful artist within the TDE label. Now, this is not uncommon in the music industry, as labels often allocate more resources and attention to artists they believe have the most potential for success. So in TDE's case, Absol's potential for success was limited by TDE's lack of focus and attention. While Kendrick Lamar and Schoolboy Q were promoted heavily through extensive marketing campaigns, collaborations with high-profile artists, and consistent releases, Absol's promotional efforts were comparatively lackluster. While Kendrick Lamar and Schoolboy Q appeal to a more broad range of fans, Absol's unique style and lyrical content may appeal to a more niche audience. While the majority of this video mainly covered TDE's lackluster efforts in promoting Absol, I want to talk about how he may be the problem as well. With the release of his new album Herbert, Absol has revealed a lot, from attempting to self-delete himself, to unwanted addictions, to his new perspective on the music industry as a whole. I think it's important to mention how Absol has had a difficult life. To start, when he was a kid, he caught Steven Johnson Syndrome, a rare but serious skin condition that can affect people of any age, gender, or ethnicity. In my eyes, I'm very light sensitive. I caught a, I caught a virus uh, called uh, Steven Johnson syndrome when I was 10. What that is, is uh, I mean, you can do your own research on it, but it's internal and external fever. So I was just literally burning up. So like I lost my lip skin, grew back dark. My eyes were like swollen shut, pink eye and shit. It has been reported that he was diagnosed with Steven Johnson syndrome when he was just 10 years old. The condition caused him to suffer a severe rash, fever, and eye irritation, which is the reason why you always see him wear shades, and why his lip skin is completely black. 
On top of this, he lost the love of his life in 2012. He was in a relationship with a woman by the name of Alori Jo, who self-deleted herself by jumping off of a building. Her death had a significant impact on Absol, and he raps more in depth about the heartbreaking story on the Book of Soul. I'm such a nice guy. Why, Lord? Why, Lori? Why you had to take her from me? Guess he needed your angel face for all of heaven to see your picture still You would think that Absol's rise to fame and earning millions of dollars while on tour with his closest friends and label mates would help him feel more satisfied with the direction of his life. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. One reason was the fact that in 2018, he and the hip-hop world suffered a great loss with the death of Mac Miller due to a drug overdose. Miller was a close friend of Absol and Schoolboy Q, and his passing was a devastating reminder of the dangers of drug use in the music industry, which Absol was known for openly promoting throughout all of his music. To make matters even worse, another best friend of his was taken from him in 2021. The hip-hop community was saddened by the unexpected death of Doughburger TDE, an American rapper and singer who was affiliated with Top Dog Entertainment. Doughburger's cause of death has not been confirmed, but there are rumors that he may have been suffering from an unknown illness. I literally just lost my best friend, Doughburger. I don't know if y'all if y'all knew and got to meet him. He went everywhere with me. He was like, you know, on the road with me everywhere I went. We were like Huey and Riley on the boondocks. Wow. Right. Yeah, like, li like literally have it tatted, like arm in arm. Leading up to the release of his new album Herbert, the first album he dropped after a long six year hiatus, Soul and Charlemagne the God engaged in a thought provoking conversation where he really opened up about a life altering moment that led to a deeper awakening. In 2021, Absol attempted to commit self delete by jumping off a freeway after struggling with a heavy vape and cigarette addiction that he felt was incurable. And as soon as I said everything I needed to say, I jumped took a leap of faith, and that was the only way I was gonna be able to put that vape. Sounds kinda crazy, but Soul has an intense addiction to cigarettes and claims that vapes are advertised to addicts as a cleaner way of consuming nicotine. But according to Ab, it only made his issues a lot worse. Solo claimed that vaping actually caused him to become more addicted to nicotine and worsened his depression and anxiety, as he was able to consume it anywhere without the smell. And that jumping off a bridge was the only way to cure his addiction since there was no one that really goes to rehab for vapes. Ain't nobody going to rehab for, for a damn vape pen. You know what I'm saying? That shit expensive as hell. You know what I'm saying? We go to rehab for it. But that was the only way I was going to be able to put that shit down. Thankfully, he survived the fall. He lost a majority of his teeth and has severe leg and rib injuries. But him making it out alive gave Absol a new perspective on life and his career. During the album rollout, Absol also had a heated debate with Joe Budden. After claiming he no longer wants to be known as the underground emperor and wants to actually try to make it big and chase the bag. I want to go. It, is, is it, am I wrong for saying like mainstream? I want to chart. Okay. Why? Absol argued that he's received praise from legends like Jay-Z and Eminem, yet he has no accolades to prove he's a great artist. I want to go. It, is, is it, am I wrong for saying like mainstream? I want to chart. Started rapping like it's not about the money, it's about the art. I wanted to be the illest. Mm. I came in, I wanted somebody to say that I was the best rapper to, to, that ever lived. Same. A million and told me that why don't i have a grammy why don't i have everything else that it must be tough seeing someone like kendrick lamar who came up with him receiving tons of praise grammy awards pulitzer prizes and more while absol just remains hidden in the shadows but comment what you guys think is next for tde and absol and don't forget to like and subscribe peace